Okay, this is where we stop. Just now I changed the number here and now it works out. Okay. Um, okay, as mentioned just now, we don't care. We just press calculator. 16 minus 10 and uh, 1. Okay, because the number in front of the Q square is 1. Uh, you press that and you will get x1 equals half. Okay, but you don't write x here because there's no x here. If you write x here, we will give you 0. So what do you do? You write uh, whatever alphabet is here first, you write that down. Okay, don't write the q. Okay, q, q is last. Huh? So write p equals to half or p equals to 1 over 8. Okay, again make the right hand side equals to 0. Uh, multiply by 2 first. Minus 1 on both sides. So 2p minus 1 is one of your answer here. And uh, 8p, 8p minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so this is the other one. Okay. Now, um, this question involves a little bit more because if you do check, always check your answer okay, after using the calculator, then you will never make any mistake. 2p times 8p, 2 times 8 is 16, okay, that's very good. p times p is p squared, that's very good. Now you check the second one. Minus 1 times minus 1, oh, we have a problem because it's a q square here. Okay, so for this kind of questions, you need to put a Q here and a Q here to solve this problem. Okay? Now, once you've done that, that is the answer already. Okay? That's all. Thank you.